Hello again, I am Blunty. Now, if you stream video games on Twitch or YouTube or Facebook or wherever, chances are you've given some thought to a face cam if you don't have one already, because a face cam helps your viewers connect to you. It removes a, a sort of barrier between you and your audience and sort of helps them connect to you because they can see your expressions. They can see how you're reacting to things and it almost always makes the stream more fun to watch. And to get yourself a face cam, it's really, really easy. You buy yourself a webcam, you plug it in and you go. This is the Logitech C922, the one you're staring at me right now on is the Logitech C920. They're basically identical. And this Logitech camera is by far and away one of the most popular choices out there. Almost every streamer who uses a webcam is probably using one of these. And they're fine. They're, they're serviceable. They're a webcam. They're much better than most webcams, but they're not really a patch on a proper camera, which is what you're seeing me on now. In this case, it's the Lumix G7, which I used to use to make all my videos, but now I've upgraded to the Lumix G85, which is what I'm filming the behind the scenes back there on. Hi! But now that I have replaced my G7 with the G85, I've been thinking about using the G7 as a web camera replacement because the G7 is one of those cameras that happens to have a lovely clean HDMI out. And what I mean by clean HDMI out is you can output the video feed from the HDMI connection on the camera without any of the stuff you normally see on the back screen. So without the exposure information or or you know framing lines or levels and things like that that some cameras don't output clean hdmi some do but if you have one that can you can use a video capture device to use your good camera as a web camera and literally yesterday i had delivered a dummy battery that is a, a little device that looks like a battery it plugs into the camera where the battery normally goes but it has a little power cord coming out the back of it so i can power it off a wall wart so that means i can use this thing as a web camera and just keep it going and going and going because some of my streams go for you know i've gone for up to 11 or 12 hours at a time so i can't be using a camera where you know, have to swap out the battery every sort of hour or two that's not really gonna cut it is it so i needed to make sure i could power it off mains and again not every camera can do that so you have to be mindful about what you're doing there um, but many many of them do have this dummy battery option available to them and pretty much every handy cam style camera out there will power directly off mains as well most of them come with something in the box that'll do it actually so there are a few more hurdles to jump over when it comes to using a good camera, a proper camera, a real camera as your web camera, but they're not insurmountable. It's fairly easy. As long as you've got the camera that'll have clean HDMI out, you get yourself a video capture device, the same type of capture device you would use for your video game machines. But that does also present a bit of an issue because a lot of capture devices, and uh, for the sake of sort of demonstration here, I'm using this, which is the Elgato HD60S, and I've got the HD60 Pro in that machine right there, which is what I usually use to capture my uh, video game streams for using two capture devices at the same time can sometimes be a bit of a pain in the ass. In the case of Elgato, you can do it, but you need a special driver for them that isn't installed by default, so you can use two devices at the same time. But there is something new out there that's going to make your life a lot easier when it comes to getting your quality looking better. And again, let me just switch between them here. Web camera, proper camera. Web camera, proper... Wait, I'll do this. Where, where, where am I? That way? Proper camera. Web camera, proper camera, web camera, proper camera, web camera. You're getting the point. And how I'm switching between those two cameras is your first hint to uh, what I'm going to be talking about. In fact, I probably, I don't know whether I put it in the title or not. Did I do a, did I do a teasy title or did I do a clickbaity title or do I do a sensible, sensible title? It, it, I mean, I don't even know whether it matters anymore the way YouTube is going. But this is the Elgato Stream Deck. And amongst other things, it can switch, you know, the sources on and off in OBS. It doesn't much more than that. I made a video about this when it first came out. In fact, I was testing prototypes before they came out to sort of help squish bugs and request features and stuff, which was really cool. So I had one of these before almost anyone else in the world. Ah! But they're super popular and many, 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 many streamers are picking these up now and just gushing about them on Twitter. Elgato pretty much every day is retweeting another dozen people who are just gushing about how much easier this thing makes their life as a streamer. And that's what Elgato want to be doing. They're, they're stretching out from, from capture devices, which have been doing for years now. They're stretching out to other devices uh, to make streamers' lives better easier, more fun. Um, and this morning I woke up to the news that they've got a couple of new announcements, one of which is a green screen which sort of slides out from a case. You know those um, stand-up uh, uh, posters and things you sometimes see at pop-up events or outside of stores, they sort of roll away into a canister and pop out and sort of, it's kind of that idea. So you can pop up, I mean, if you're like me, you work in a very small space, you don't want a green screen behind you every time and putting up a green screen, taking down a green screen is a big pain in the ass and getting it stretched and, and make sure it's lit properly and everything. Ugh. 
It's one of the reasons I don't use a green screen myself, but now they've got a solution for that. Just whoop, you can just whip it out. You can just whip it out and have yourself a green screen. So I think I'm going to uh, tap Elgato on the shoulder and see if I can get one of those to have a play with. Because that just melts away one of those ease of use barriers uh, that, that sort of stop people from trying stuff. Because it seems such a pain in the ass so they don't bother. I'll try it later. I'll try it later. And you just put it off put it, and you never do it. So this green screen thing and the stream deck are just two examples of Elgato making your life a little bit simpler as a streamer. So you can get to the stream part of it instead of worrying about your equipment and how you're set up and all that kind of stuff. That's where we come to the entire point of this video and why I started talking about um, web camera, real camera, web camera, real camera in the beginning of this video and talking about how my, I was planning on using my real camera as a web camera now because it just looks better. It gives me more flexibility. It's an interchangeable lens camera. I can put different lenses on that sort of stuff and set things up differently if I want to as well. Yay! Web camera, not so much. But in addition to the green screen thing, Elgato have announced what they're calling Cam Link, which in essence is basically a shrunk down version of one of these, the HD60 uh, S, which again is the device I'm using right now to put this camera into OBS right down there. And that's how I'm recording this video. But the cam link differs in a couple of key ways. Number one, this identifies itself as a video capture device in Windows and OBS and whatever capture of, uh, software you're using or streaming software you're using. The cam link identifies itself as a web camera. So it can be used natively without any buggering about, without having to jump through any hoops, without having to configure third party software to try and trick Windows into treating a video capture device as a web camera, like you have to do now if you want to use sort of the system here that I'm using with, with Skype, for example. The cam link identifies natively as a web camera. So you plug your HDMI out from your camera into it, you plug it into your uh, USB 3.0 port on your computer, and Windows thinks it's using a webcam, but in reality, using a good cam. That, of course, means you can now use your good camera with any application that uses a webcam. You don't have to rely on it having sort of hooks in it for video capture devices and things like that. You can just plug it in and go. That also means that using it alongside other capture devices becomes easier as well. You don't have to install the special drivers and things to make sure Windows doesn't get confused when you're plugging in two identical capture devices at the same time. And, ugh, and I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, well, what's the point of the cam link? I mean, it does what this already does, doesn't it? Well, except for the web camera a bit, but you can you can you can skirt around that if you know what you're doing. Well, one of the differences is size. The cam link is very very small, which makes it sort of nice and tidy and easy to integrate into your setup. There's no extra cables or anything. It just plugs onto the HDMI and plugs directly into the computer with this one you have to HDMI in and, and USB 3.0 out and everything so it's a little bit tidier which makes life a little bit simpler but it also doesn't have the analog audio capabilities of this it also doesn't have the HDMI pass through so the cam link is specifically designed just to plug a camera into your computer or indeed any HDMI device really but cameras in particular the reason you would want one of these instead is because you can plug your source in one end and come out the other end. So much more useful if you're dealing with consoles and things so you can sort of bring your capture in and then still squirt it back out to the TV again. With the cam link, it has an input only. So it's, you can't sort of loop a device out from it, which you don't really need to do when you're dealing with a camera in the first place. So those are the key differences. The other neat thing about identifying as a web camera is Windows knows how to deal with multiple web cameras natively. So you can use Use multiple of these devices at the same time without needing a special driver or anything like that like we talked about before again with those so if you're a IRL streamer or you're a cooking streamer for example so you're in your kitchen you've got a face cam you've got one looking down at your you know your preparation table you've got one on the stove and things like that if you're setting up multiple cameras and you want them all to look good and you know instead of this you want them to look like this or you're dealing with you know different lenses so you can mount the camera nice up high but have a nice long lens so you can get a close-up of the top of your soup boiling or whatever if you are one of those kitchen streamers wait which camera am i on again now i've got confused this one this one this one huh um but yeah, a very exciting product if you are a streamer or indeed a YouTuber because the cam link is not only useful for streaming, you can do what I'm doing right now, feed your camera directly into a capture software on your computer, record directly on the computer, and that just removes a layer of time spent as well because normally what I would do, of course, would be to set up the camera on a tripod, record my video. When I'm done, I would turn off the camera, pull out the memory card, put the memory card in a card reader in my computer, move all that footage across to my hard drive and then into my editing and then start to edit. The cam link means if I'm recording something at my desk here, I can go directly to the hard drive. 
And that just saves me a bunch of time right there. It also means that I can use the computer screen as my preview screen instead of trying to look at the screen on the uh, on the on the camera itself to check whether I'm in focus and what's framed up and everything. Because sometimes the camera isn't particularly close to me, depending on sort of how I'm framed up. This way, I can just look down at the computer screen and go, "Yep." So yeah, thank you, Elgato, for finally delivering a device that I know that I have been waiting for for a very long time. In fact, I've made the suggestion to people who make capture devices. I think the last time I talked about it, I was talking to the the, the Razer people when they when because they've got a capture device as well now which i haven't tried i've no idea if it's any good but it's seems to be a little bit overpriced for what it is if i'm honest with you and i did literally say to them what would be great is if you made a capture device you could toggle between sort of being a video capture device and being a web camera for doing exactly this kind of stuff now elgato's as far as i know doesn't have a toggle i mean maybe they'll put one in software for the camera like maybe they'll toggle it between video capture device and web camera mode i don't know whether there's any particular advantage to doing that depending on what software you're using but it could be an interesting thought elgato if you're watching have you thought about that could be handy i mean why wouldn't you do it seems easy so is it easy i don't i, I know nothing about the so there you go guys a bit of i guess, I guess this was a news video Kind of rambly though. I just, I know, I haven't been doing very many videos recently. I've been working hard getting the Threadripper stuff ready for the embargo launch and just, just I've been traveling so much and tired and this overwhelmed and ah. Uh... But I'm going to Germany in a couple of weeks for Gamescom. Are you going to be there, Agato? We can talk about this stuff there. Thanks for watching. I am Lottie. I'll catch you next time. Web camera. Good camera. Web camera. Good camera. Web camera. Good camera. Web camera. Back behind the scenes camera. Web camera, good camera, behind the scenes. Web camera, good camera, behind the scenes. Web camera, good camera, behind the scenes. What are you doing?